I was involved in the women's ministry at my last church and when I started attending here. It's my passion. It's, I feel like it's where the Lord wants me to be. Um, I wasn't here maybe two or three months and my Uncle David grabbed a hold of me and introduced me to every worship person that there was. That's how I got into the worship ministry to begin with in this church and I just grew in this worship ministry here. I started serving as an elder um, about six years ago and took some time off and then I'm serving um, a term on the elder board now and um, I just got, got involved with it. Originally went through a elder apprenticeship program with Pastor Crosscut and um, just felt God's calling to use some of the leadership skills that he's given me to help lead the church. And I know that our women love our gatherings because we're, we have a good attendance and uh, first and foremost the Lord comes first and then everything else revolves around that and uh, we just have a good time together. I've seen a lot of people come together as a family in this ministry and um, in a, almost in a small group capacity um, in, a, in a fierce way. I see God working through all different age groups of our church. Um, it's exciting to see, uh, we, we've seen adults coming to faith in Christ that later in life. We've seen many children and youth uh, coming to Christ um, just through what they're learning in our ministries here at our church. Space has always been a challenge at the church. I mean, we always make it happen, but we're always having to make sure a room's available for us and we have to move tables and chairs and space is definitely an issue. Um, just structurally speaking, um, in the sanctuary, uh, sound becomes a problem. Not having a dedicated space to be able to worship on a regular basis, um, knowing that the chairs have to come up and, and, and be put down, that's that's been a diff difficulty for us. We have a lot of challenges of having to share spaces. Um, we have to get very creative in how we use our spaces, um, especially on Sunday mornings and Wednesday evenings. Um, we have a lot of ideas and vision of how we can do a lot more adult ministry on Wednesday evenings. Um, we have many parents that, um, that drop their kids off for Awana on Wednesday nights or their kids are attending the youth group on Wednesday nights and we could serve that uh, that demographic of people much better by just um, being able to have a space that we can provide a ministry uh, where people can fellowship and um, just be fed while their children are, are being fed spiritually as well. We know that we're sharing the space and um, we're glad of all of the things that are happening in our church. But it, it becomes a little difficult um, for, I think, all of the ministries. There's always something going on in the worship center. And what I would love to see is our worship center be our worship center. And maybe we could have more times of worship and prayer. Uh, I'm excited to, to see where God is leading this building project. And we believe that He is guiding this and He's going to ultimately um, get the building created exactly the way He has planned.